built a fort, y'all. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome to Vlogmas Day 23. Um, today's just going to be some random family stuff going on, um, but I'm going to make a crock pot recipe for you guys. It's going to be Tuscan chicken breasts. Um, something easy, to different than just for regular holiday food. So I hope you guys enjoy it. Um, let's get the video started. They're not gray ones? There's no gray ones. Oh. <laughs> so they well, look gray? Right, well, the, the, that's gray. These ones are really light blue. Mm -hmm. But blue. which ones are the gray ones? Day 23. Day 23. But we have to open to 22. Oh. That was yesterday. Why didn't you open it? See? Yes, you did. Where was. It's alright. <laughs> okay, open today's lamb 23. 23. It's a house. It's a house? What is that? Nubby? An owl? No. I forgot a thing. Did you guys find one? Here we go. Oh, thanks. Um, oh, it is a house. Am I even a whisker? Alright, time to do mine. Let's find number 23, Liam. You see 23? <coughs> Bless you, Lorraine. Thank you. 23 is you go. Yeah, it's a... No? Okay. You see them even... All right, Liam. Yeah, yeah. What do I got? Yellow? <laughs> yeah, yo. Chardonnay. Okay. Yellow. All right, what cheese we got, Lorraine? To go with it. 23. With the oh. Careful. Mm. Just rip it off, girl. Come on. You got this. Gouda. What is it? Gouda. 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 Don't put it so close. It's a ah. real one. All right, guys. For this recipe, you're going to need some chicken breasts. We got two packs of them for ours because uh, I'm making it for all of us. Um, you're going to need some tomatoes. Like I'm going to use grape tomatoes. You can use uh, canned tomatoes if you want, whatever you have. Sun-dried tomatoes. Um, spinach. Uh a cup of heavy whipping cream, and you're gonna need your whatever seasonings you like. I'm gonna use the normal Italian seasonings, lots of garlic, basil. I'm gonna use the sofrito, oregano, Redmond's, and I'm also gonna do uh, white pepper. So first thing we're gonna do is put the chicken in the crock pot, season it, and then we're gonna uh, throw the tomatoes and spinach in there, and then um, make a sauce with the heavy whipping cream, which I'll show you that. And then we're gonna cook it on low all day. You also need a cup of chicken broth. I forgot to mention that. All right, I put down about five or six handfuls of spinach at the bottom with <clears throat> a couple of handfuls of tomatoes. And then I seasoned the chicken and I'm just gonna put that in there like that and then I will show you the sauce. All right, for the sauce, you're gonna put about a tablespoon of olive oil in the bottom of your pan, about two cloves of garlic or more if you want more, um, and just kind of saute that garlic up just a little bit, but you don't wanna burn it. And then we're gonna add our cup of heavy cream, a cup of broth, and our seasonings to that. All right, so I've got everything in here. I'm just gonna warm, get this warm, and uh, all of the flavors combined and married together, and then thicken it up a little bit, and then stick it in the crock pot with the chicken. All right, so I'm mixing in some xanthan gum a little bit, just probably like a half a teaspoon to a teaspoon. I'm just gonna get this going and then put it in the crock pot. All right, so this is about the thickness I want it. I'm gonna go ahead and pour it in the crock pot and we're just gonna put the lid on and cook it on a high, or I'm a high, on low all day long. We're just gonna pour it in there on top of the chicken. And then we're gonna serve this on spaghetti squash later, but you can serve it on whatever you want. And we'll probably add some Parmesan cheese as well. So the lid's going on. I'll show it to you when it's done. All right, guys, it is all done and ready to go. I'm just turning off the crock pot to warm. Uh, and now I'm gonna make some spaghetti squash in the oven so that we can serve it over it um, in place of pasta. So it smells delicious. All 
All right, guys, here it is over the spaghetti squash. It smells amazing. It's gonna taste really good. 